the solution. YouTube, what's going on? It's the solution. Or the solution for kicks. Instagram, YouTube. You know that. Exclamation mark number four with the Z. All right, so we're headed out to, I don't know if y'all can catch the sign right here, to uh, Lock and Terror. The shops at Lock and Terror out here on I-10 in San Antonio near the uh, Dominion, AKA the bougie side of things. But they have a Foot Locker, House of Hoops, and uh, a Finish Line that uh, normally has some stuff. Uh, normally has some stuff in there. You know, I, I, I come up on some uh, some crazy finds when I come in here sometimes. They, they seldom let me down. And I think it's just the location where uh, a lot of people really don't want to drive out here to catch this uh, particular shopping area. You know, it's, it's got some high-end stuff out here. But your man is on it. I don't mind making a little trek out here. It's Friday, January 5th, first week of the new year. And I've actually only copped one pair of kicks at the start of the new year. And of course, that was the, uh, the Gators. Was that even part of the new year? I think I got those before. I did. I got those before the new year. So, um,. I'm gonna see if I can come up on something. I made some moves yesterday. So, got a little something, a uh, little something extra, extra. Play with it. Uh, yeah, if you ever come out here, make sure you wear some comfortable shoes. You're gonna walk. And I always get discombobulated when I come out here because it, it's kind of odd how the paths are here. So, see you outside the car. All right. What's up, y'all? As y'all can see, um, yeah, peep the hair. You know, I'm selling it without my hat. Before, before the game is on, on Smash right now. Um, that's why I store all that wonderful um, literary power and uh, vocabulary that I spew to you all on the videos. So we're out here, Shops of Lock and Terror, and Foot Action, pardon me, Finish line and Foot Locker House of Hoops is what they have out here. There's a journeys, and uh, that's about it. But this uh, Foot Locker is really the spot I want to check out because they always have like some crazy sales in here. And unique colorways of shoes that I don't see elsewhere, they normally have them out here. You know, you see what we find. It's about uh. 61 degrees here, sunny, it feels great actually, a little breezy. Um, this is cold for a lot of San Antonians. People still got heavy coats on it. They, they actually think it's cool to be cold here. They, they don't want, they don't want that smoke from that, uh, that bomb cyclone back home where I'm from in Baltimore. They don't, they don't want no parts of that weather, trust me. But they think it's cool to look cold here, I noticed. It'll be like 55 degrees. They got scarves racked around their necks. What's going on? I did it with my friend. Sorry. Well, yeah. They're, um, you know, you see them out here trying to look cool, being cold, man. It's crazy. But the weather's great for me. So I figured out the weather ratio here. For every pair of Uggs I see. I'm going to see four people in cargo shorts. You know? Or sandals. Alright, so going to hit up this Foot Locker House of Hoops.
Alright y'all. This is actually two days later that I'm actually doing the, the review portion of this video. Got a little busy. It's called Life. And um, yeah, th this is, I didn't really allude to this video, but if you know me, you're going to go, next he's probably going to be buying some Yeezys. I could see it. He's going to buy some Yeezys, you all. This is a sneaker that I've said I'm not this kind of guy, even though I'm from this part of the country. And people ask me about it and they expect me to have this particular sneaker. All right, so you see the box, you probably know what this is. If you know your sneaker game, your sneaker game, you know what this box represents. It's either one or two shoes that comes in this box right here. So you got a 50% chance of getting it right. If you know me, you already know what sneaker this is. You just don't know what the color is. So right here, let's get into it. Yes, yes, he did it. He did it. I'm not gonna go Mike Rich on you guys, okay? But in Mike Rich's defense, his wife bought him those sneakers, those Yeezys. So you gotta respect the gift from the wife, all right? Or your, your lady. And um, she got those for him, and the boy D out in Houston let him have it. <laughs> he roasted him for it. Because Mike Rich talked about he didn't like the Yeezys. Anyway, let's talk about my history with the phone posits. Now, truth be told, truth be told, I am not against this sneaker. And here's why. If you know me and you have followed me, I actually did a review, okay, on this sneaker. This, it's not a sneaker, it's a boot. This is the phone posit boot. If you're looking for a really, really warm boot that's rugged, this is it. This is it. So I'm not a, a, I was never really totally against the phone posit. I was against the price, okay? And you, if you know, the phone posit seldom go on sale dramatic. I've been seeing a few of them on sale, down to 179, but they were flying off the shelves because people couldn't believe it. The, uh, the coppers and the, the gold and the silver, if you caught them, went down to 179. And I, I missed them. Eight and a half. Can't do an eight and a half. And cannot do an eight and a half. Probably can't do a nine as well. But to say um, I'm against the phone posit, that's not true. So I'm going to sit that back in. Let that chill in the back. These, these, those are dope. But got the, the Legion Green phone posits right here, man. The phone posit one in the Legion Green and Black. So we figured you would get the eggplant, the solution. But I didn't have my size. They had an eight and a half. They had tried it on. Oh my goodness. I can pull off an eight and a half in some sneaker. But this isn't one of them. This isn't one of them. I have to go nine and a half in here with these. Even a 10. But they're so bulky. And the thing about phone pods is which allows the price to stay up there for so long. They've been 230 forever. Is that these are rocky. These are like M1, A1, Abrams tanks. These can take a beating. And they're hard to crease. Trust me. You have to put some work in here to crease these just by the design right there in the toe box. And the rigidity, yeah, that's a good word. Rigidity of um, the front portion of the sneaker along with the, the complete body of it. it. It's just, it's a rugged sneaker. Like if you want a, a sneaker to ball in, street ball on the courts outside, this is probably it. This is probably it right here where you know you're gonna get support and it's going to hold up and you know you're able to just ball out and constantly play in them they're going to last for a while this is it so why did you pick pick the um the legion ring the solution well it was simple it came down to the eggplant and um they had some dr dooms floating around there but white souls i'm i'm all for all white soul you can protect those but what i'm alluding to is this black soul right here i'm, I'm really I'm really trying to avoid getting any more trans, light translucent sneakers. A uh, a milky white mm, on the fence. A uh, pure translucent, no. A a cooler blue translucent, yeah. But black on the sole, I'm all for it. A, a smoke sole, like those Air Max over there, they're gonna last, you aren't gonna see anything. I'm just not into dumping um, that type of money into a sneaker and I got so many pairs of shoes around here 
I know it might be a year or so, and I don't want them turning yellow. Hence me offloading a lot of sneakers a while ago. I still am doing that because of that. But the Legion Greens, I, I'm into this colorway. Y'all know me. I love OD Green. I have a lot of clothing in this color. I love camouflage. And um, this black, this, this contrast in here is dope. Y'all know about the carbon fiber and all that stuff. I guess I'm supposed to knock on it. Yeah. Scratch it. Knock on it. Get it. But, shout out to House of Hoops, Lock and Terror. You know, you saw at the beginning of the video. So, the price. The price is a thing everybody wants to know. The solution said you don't like the $230 price point. What did you do? What did you do? So, um, first off, I had a little help out with this. Shout out to my man, Tommy, two times. He gave me a pair of, um, beaters that he had. And, um... Hey, it was basically a Christmas gift. He asked me, what can you do with these? I was like, man, you know your foot is like three times the size of mine. I don't know. He was like, well, sell them and do something with them. I was like, all right, cool. So I had some clothing and stuff I got rid of. So I took him to play those and flipped that. And uh, got about $100 once it was all said and done from a couple of t-shirts and hoodie and those beaters. Anyway, these are 230 um, little charge discount takes me down to one ninety nine. If I'm not mistaken. All right. Oh wow, I'm a platinum member at Foot Locker now. Imagine that. Yeah, platinum VIP. Cool. All right. So one eighty four with my discount. Fifteen dollars in sales tax here in San Antonio. So one ninety nine eighteen. And um, basically, I split it. So. I gave them a hundred in cash that I got from the clothes and shoes that I flipped, and I swiped 99. All right, so I drove these down to $199, basically. But I personally only felt $99 leaving my stash. But dope, phone positive, first pair. Remember, it's not about how much you pay, it's about why you pay. The solution.